today I'm gonna show you how to deploy your React app to GitHub Pages. So it's gonna be by default available on your username and then that's gonna be your repository name. And we're gonna be using in this video create React app to generate the new project. And also in the next video, I'll show you how to set up your custom domain instead of this. All right, let's get started. Let's go ahead and uh, create the repository first. Let's go to github.com and let's click on uh, your repositories. And now let's uh, create a new one. And if you're using the GitHub uh, for free, well, most likely that uh, you're gonna be able to only to create the public repository to host your GitHub pages. But if you're using something like GitHub Pro, Team, or Enterprise Cloud, or Enterprise Server, then you're gonna be able to create the private repository and host your uh, website in GitHub pages. So we don't have that. So we're gonna be using the public one. So let's create the repository app one, two, three. And let's just create the empty repository. All right, so now we have that. And let's go to the terminal. And first of all, we're gonna install the create react app, which is the tool that helps to generate the boilerplate uh, project for a React app. So I'm gonna be using the npm install, then I'm gonna install globally uh, this uh, tool, create, create React app. All right, so now we can use that tool and generate the project. So if you, well, we're gonna use the create React app, then we're gonna provide the name for the app. And well, if you're not gonna provide anything else, it will use the yarn package manager, which is the just a package manager developed by Facebook. But I just want to use the default NPM uh, package manager. So I'm gonna use the dash dash use NPM. It will take uh, maybe a minute to generate all those files. Let's wait. All right, now we have the project. Let's change directory to our project and let's open with the Visual Studio editor or any other editor you like. And here under the package.json, we need to add uh, one attribute, home page. So let me add it first. You can put it anywhere, but I'm gonna put it right uh, under the private equal to true. So it's gonna be the home page. Then it's gonna be the HTTPS. And this is the username. And let me show you, that's gonna be my username, Anton Putra, then github.io, and at the end, this is the, the repository name, which is the app123. Right, so you need to add the home page. Then we're gonna be using the GitHub pages, another NPM module to uh, deploy um, our website to GitHub pages. So let's go ahead and install that uh, package and we're gonna save it as the uh, development dependencies. All right, so, and this package will give us uh, one command that we're gonna be using. And in the, let's add a couple more uh, entry points to the scripts. So those, uh, the commands that we can run using npm run, and here, so we're gonna add pre-deploy, which will uh, run the build and compile all those files. And then the deploy, which will uh, upload and host our website in the GitHub pages, publish it there. All right, and the final part that we want to add, we want to connect our local repository with the remote repository, with this one. So if you go to your uh, repository, you can find this uh, git remote at a region command that will just link local to remote. And let's run it. And now we can actually go ahead and run npm, npm run deploy, which will compile those files first as a bundle and then it will uh, upload it to the GitHub pages. All right, so it says it's published. Let's go to our repository and let's refresh. And now we have the, well, uploaded files here. And in a few seconds, 
around here, you're going to see the environments. Let's refresh it again. And here you go. You have the environments. Let's click on uh, environments. And this is the GitHub pages deployed. So let's click on view deployment. And here you go. That's your site. And also I would recommend that you're going to add. So right now in your GitHub repository, you have only the compiled files. So let's go ahead and add the file, uh, the site itself, React site. Git add everything, commit uh, dash m to provide uh, some message. And then let's run git push. And let me copy the whole thing and push it. Right now, let's refresh and we have the uh, website, compiled website in this branch. And then we have the source code in the master branch. All right. And in the next video, I'll show, well, right now it's available on uh, my username, GitHub username, and then the, this is the repository. Most likely we don't want that. And in the next video, I'll show you how to set up your custom domain and or subdomain. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like this video if it was helpful for you. Thank you. Bye.